The very interesting thing is that they both look very similar. And you could say maybe this is a coincidence, but when you actually compare pictures of some of the closest people in Wilcox circle and some of the closest people in Casey's circle, they also look very similar. So All right, this is Mike Sigla from truthfear.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. This is my series on metaphysics, esotericism, mysticism, spirituality, etc. Today we're going to talk about reincarnation and I'm going to do a couple of videos describing different evidence for reincarnation, different concepts that are linked to reincarnation. And one of those concepts is this idea of soul groups or soul family. Very often when we incarnate, for example, here on Earth, we do it in groups. So in one lifetime, you might be a couple, in another lifetime, you might be siblings. In another lifetime, you might be good friends, etc. So roles can often change, but the purpose is to assist each other, help each other, or to clear some kind of karma between yourselves. So sometimes you might meet someone and uh, you become friends for life and you feel like maybe you're such a good fit or you understand each other so well. This could be an example of a member of your soul group. Sometimes couples incarnate over and over as well. And very often we have some kind of arrangements between ourselves in the soul group, often referred to as soul contract. So let me give you an example of uh, this kind of arrangement. You know, I have an interesting relationship with my sister where She's really good at saving money and I'm really good at spending it. This is a joke. But basically the way it works and in a way it's been very organic is that very often when I had some financial trouble or I needed some kind of loan or small investment, etc. She was the one that could support me. And on the other hand, when she was working very hard, saving her money etc i was actually investing a lot of my time into educating myself and learning and gaining experiences in different areas so now i tend to mentor her or sometimes maybe tutor her during her studies and you know she helps me financially sometimes so in a way we are both good at something but at the same time we lack in area that the other person is good at so on this level we actually complement each other and this is an example of our relationship you might have in a soul group so is there any evidence for soul groups for this concept and one of my favorite examples is the case of david wilcock so if you don't know David Wilcock, he's uh, one of the more popular writers and researchers in fields of UFOs, mysticism, paranormal, ancient civilizations, etc. He wrote books such as the Source Field Investigations, which became the New York Times bestseller. In 2004, he co-authored a book called The Reincarnation of Edgar Cayce. And the book explores this idea that Wilcock is actually a reincarnation of famous clairvoyant from 20th century, Edgar Cayce. And Edgar Cayce made over 14,000 readings and predictions, and a lot of this stuff is well documented, and a lot of these predictions were very accurate. If you haven't heard about Cayce or Wilcock, I suggest to research these guys. The very interesting thing is that they both look very similar. And you could say maybe this is a coincidence, but when you actually compare pictures of some of the closest people in Wilcock's circle and some of the closest people in Casey's circle, they also look very similar. So here on the left you have Casey and on the right David Wilcock. Here on the left you have Casey's father and on the right Wilcock's father. And apparently Casey's father 
was called the squire and Wilcox's father used to shop at the squire. Here on the left you can see Gertrude Casey, Edgar's wife, and on the right Angelica, one of David's best friends from college. Here on the left you can see Morton Blumenthal, Casey's friend, and on the right David's very good friend Chris. Here on the left Edwin Blumenthal, Morton's brother, and on the right David's best friend Jude. Here again on the left Dr. Wesley Harrington Ketchum, who worked with Casey in the early 1900s, and on the right David's brother. So there are also other interesting relationships between Casey and Wilcock. So Wilcock was actually born exactly 96 years after Casey. Interesting numerological symbolism here. And both have been born in the year of Ox in Chinese Zodiac, which is one out of 12 chains. And both actually are Pisces in traditional astrology, which is again one out of 12 chains. And Wilcox's date of birth is March 8th, 1973. And Casey was born on March 18th, 1877. Another very interesting thing is when you compare their astrological birth charts. So for example, astrologer Brian McNaughton points out in studying and practicing the divine science of astrology for over 20 years, I have never seen such a remarkable reconvergence of the personal planets, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars. The charts show remarkable seemingness between these two men beyond all chance or coincidence. Very interesting coincidences, let's say. What's also interesting is that actually both Wilcock and Casey became really successful in their fields throughout their lives. You know, Wilcock is one of the most recognized esoteric teachers currently alive. Casey obviously was one of those when he was present. Another interesting thing is that Casey was focusing more on readings and Wilcock in his early career used to do a lot of readings as well. And when you look at all these different things, to me, this is a really interesting example of a soul group. And yeah, I'm curious, what are your thoughts about this? Do you think this is a coincidence? Do you think this is just BS? And if you are enjoying these videos, please subscribe, share, and comment. And um, if you are into spirituality, metaphysics, esoteric ideas and teachings, mysticism, etc., make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be going deeper and deeper into a lot of these concepts. And, and thanks for checking. Until next time. Hey guys, Mike here. Just a quick note. I'm currently offering one-to-one -one mentoring and coaching through our Patreon page. Um, so, as some of you know, I've been interested in personal development for 15 to 17 years and during this time I really spent enormous amounts of energy into researching and practicing different techniques. So, I'm offering one-to-one -one video calls through Patreon and this is really affordable as well. So, um, you know, some of the things that I can help with are to do with starting an online business, building personal brand, increasing happiness, um, you know, improving mental and physical health, stress reduction, building confidence and self-esteem, finding your passion, discovering your life purpose, uh, spiritual development and going through spiritual awakening and many other things. So check it out. It's patreon.com forward slash true theory. It's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash true theory.